Welcome to the part 14 of the series on volume spread analysis, two bar reversal upside and short term reversal. We have been looking at the various signs of strength. Let's quickly recollect what are the signs of strength. These are the selling climax, the stopping volume, effort to move up bar, reverse up thrust, test for supply, no supply bar, and the two bar reversal upside. So in this session, we will be looking at the signs of sign of strength, the two bar reversal upside. Of course, it is a bullish signal and it signals a short term reversal of the current downward move. First, let's look at the definition or the conditions for the two bar reversal. The previous bar should be the lowest of the previous four bars. As you can see here, this bar is the lowest, the, the low is the lowest of the previous four bars and the current bar should engulf the previous bar and it should close high, it should open low and close high. The volume on both these bars, that is the current bar and the previous bar should be above average or high. Now let's come in to the interpretation on the various nodes on the two bar reversal. Let's see what is happening in this sign of strength. As you can see, the price was moving down and it was gathering momentum. Then we have a previous down bar on a higher volume. In the following bar, the more selling is coming in the early sessions in anticipation of continuous bearishness. It opens low and it's maybe being pushed down. Then in the later part of the session, the buying comes in, pushing the price up and the bar closes near the high, trapping the shots. The strong hands have bought some stocks at lower price and ready to move up. Also, there must be some buying in the previous bars as well. More buying follows and short covering happening, pushing the prices up. Variations in terms of volume and spread also quite common. Now, what do we look for when we see a two bar reversal upside? Look at the subsequent bars for price action. If you see up bars, then there is a follow-up action and we can see more strength. But if the next bar is a down bar, then the action of the two bar reversal bar is negated and the strength is ruled out. Look at the volume of the two bar reversal bar or the TB bar. Higher the volume, more the strength. Lower volumes variations are found to provide strength, but can the strength is normally limited. Now let's look at some real life examples of the two bar reversal upside. In the first example, I have the chart of Loras lamp. It's a daily chart and as usual I'm using the playback mode for better illustration. Our chart starts from the 11th July 2022. The stock has been trying to move after a big down move here. It's going to, it's trying to move up actually. So let's see how the prices play out. An effort to move up bar, but the next bar you can see it has got a very long week, increased volume indicating weakness here. There has been selling coming in this bar, so that weakness is now getting profound. 
you can see a white spread down bar closing near the low again more weakness coming in here pushing the stock prices down now we see a tb bar or a two bar reversal bar you can see this is totally engulfing the previous bar and the volume is quite high and the previous bar is the the close is the lowest of the previous four bars here so this is a typical tb bar on high volume so let uh, see what happens or in the consequent bars we have to look at the consequent bars to see if the strength manifests or it is negated the next bar of course you can see there are a lot of selling has come here but the selling has been overcome and that prices push back close on the upper side and the volume is quite high so we can see strength coming in here some sideways move and again an effort to move up bar you can see the strength has come here so this two bar reversal on high volume definitely indicated strength and the the stock uh, reverse from the temporary re reversal we saw after the down move here now in this bar we can see there has been a lot of selling here again weakness creeping in here then you see a trend change bar these are combination signals the trend change is a combination signal which we will look at it in the next session of this uh, series so let's see if the trend change does happen the next bar is again weak the weakness is getting profound now again you see a tb bar but the volume is low the tb bar is on low volume one thing to note here the tb bar is on high volume you get a green triangle upward triangle and if it happens on a lower volume you get an yellow triangle yellow is generally a warning green is of course indicate strength so let us now look at the next bar to see if the strength comes in here the next bar shows weakness here again it opened and it was pushed down here close near the low so definitely the strength of this tb bar which of course on a low volume has been negated the weakness getting more and more profound so again it is moving up here you we saw an effort to move up bar and that is again negated by failure of an effort to move up bar again weakness persists here here again we see a two bar reversal here it is again engulfing the previous bar and the previous bar closed is the lowest of the previous four bars so we see a tb bar on low volume and here we saw a tb bar on low volume but that did not bring in strength so let's just see if this one brings in strength again it is moving sideways little weak here now there is some strength coming in here so we saw a temporary reversal of this down move so this uh, tb bar even though at low volume did 
bring a temporary reversal here. So we need to be careful when we see this uh, TB bar on low volume. A TB bars on high volume does indicate a lot of strength, but TB bar on low volumes, they are like warning signals and sometimes they do bring in some reversal. So we need to look at the sign here, yellow or green, that will clearly tell us. And of course, you have the indication here to which is show it's on high volume or low volume. So the TB bars on high volume are definitely more dependable than the TB bars on low volume. In the next example, I have the chart of Sun Pharma. It's a daily chart. Again, using the playback mode. Our chart starts from the 19th of August, 2022. Let's see how the prices play out. The prices have been coming down. You can see weakness. The prices have been moving down here. Now we can see a two bar reversal, but on the downside here. It is on again low volume. You can see here this moving down. Now we have a two bar reversal on the upside. You can see it is uh, engulfing the previous bar and it, the close is the lowest of the previous bars. And also you get the indication two bar reversal to upside on low volume. Let us see if uh, this will bring in some strength. We also uh, mentioned that the levels of the TB bar can be some reference for ma making our decisions. So let me draw the high and low levels of this particular TB bar. But on the high here, now let's see how the Prices play out further. There's some strength is there. You can see it is moving up. So this is small upward move. So trying to reverse the down move here. But you can see the volume was low. So the strength is also limited. We again you see a two bar reversal on the downside. We will see if is, that is able to push the prices down further. There has been some weakness here. But you can see the prices were pushed down here. But below the low of the TB bar, we did get some support here and some demand coming here. You can see the long tail here the price moved up and closed near the high. So there have been some support coming at the low of the TB bar. Let's see further moves here. Then clearly we had an effort to move bar and that started moving up. But again weakness creeping in here. Again, effort to move up that is being defeated. So there has been a struggle between the demand and supply here. Now we have a TB bar to the upside on high volume. You can see there was already efforts to move up, but that was being defeated by the supply here. So there must have been some 
absorption of the supply here that is why we can see a two bar reversal to the upside here on higher volume again let me draw the levels here the high level and also draw the low level here Let's see how the play, prices play out further here. Here you can see there was an effort to move up, but it turned out to be an upthrust bar, but still staying above the high level of the TB bar. So there is some strength. There's a trend change bar. Where we'll see if the trend is going to change or that is defeated. It's moving sideways here you can see again strength coming in here more strength so it has always stayed above the high of this two bar reversal to the upside on high volume so as you can see here this stock is already been making at this point it has been making a higher high and higher low so if somebody is planning to make an entry here in anticipation of an higher move, so this line would be a good reference point. So any move below this line could be your stop loss, but it always stayed above this line. So these, uh, the high and low levels of the TB bar can be good reference points for making your decisions here. Again, you can see the TB bar at uh, lower volume did produce some strength here, but that was quite limited. But this TB bar here did bring in a lot of strength here. So it, the stock started moving up. Let us quickly summarize what we learned in this session. TB bars mark a short term reversal. The subsequent bars can negate the strength of the TB bar or confirm the strength of the TB bar. Variations in terms of volume and spread can be found and still mark strength. Always look at the background to judge the TB reversal pattern. Drawing the high and low of the TB bars helps to judge the strength or negation of strength. With this, we come to the end of this video. The next part, we will look at the derived signals or combination signals in VPA 5.0 so you would find like trend change or ST1, ST2 kind of signals in the VPA 5.0. These are combination signals or derived signals. These are the not straight SOS based on the trend and the various actions, price actions. We can derive some signals. So we will discuss these signals in the next part of the series. In order to get notified for the release of the future parts of the video, do subscribe to this channel. In case you find this video useful, please do press the like button.